chickens. Jade, what's wrong? Meow. Meow, meow. Tell me. Tell me what to do. What? Jade? Okay, okay, you don't want me to pet you. You want to open the door? Huh, no? You want, you want your food? Here, open the door. No? No? Yes? Okay, see you later. Okay, guys, you can see I've got on my chicken ranching outfit. This is what you're supposed to wear when you ranch chickens. And uh, I'm gonna go upstairs where our chicken, ranch chickens are in our house <laughs> and for the first time I'm gonna take some of them outside and I've got a little space out there uh, and I don't know how long, how long you think I'll leave them out there today Tammy probably like 30 minutes or something what? an hour yeah see how they do we'll see how they do well, and, and see how the other chickens do we're not concerned about the little chickens we're concerned about the big chickens and in your life as you go through life, your concern needs to be not with the little chickens. You need to be concerned about the big chickens. Just a little tip there for you to make it through life. Watch the big chickens. Okay, so I've got a dog crate that I'm going to put them in to transport them. And I haven't seen them in about two or three days. And I think they're like twice as big as they were last time that I saw. They're giant giant little chickens all right little chickens big little chickens time has come for you to start learning about the big world you are acting completely ridiculous all of you I'm sure I am. Wow. Tammy said that I have to place them gently yes. down in the thing. Come here. Meanwhile, they're flying all over the place like eagles while I'm trying to grab them. Shh. Your behavior. I'm not mad at you. I'm not playing up their pen while you're gone. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at your behavior, chickens. Okay, they're in there. Goodbye, ladybugs. I'm not going outside. Uh-oh, Tammy. I got too much work to do. Doesn't want to see I think. their well, first I day. Tammy doesn't want to see their first day in kindergarten. Not a very sentimental mother. I will go there. Oh, she is going. Now, the first thing, girls, is there's predators everywhere. Predator, predator. Where'd Jade go? She's the real predator. Now we could either, I mean, we could leave them in this thing, you know, and set them. They told me put them in there at night if we're gonna, if we're gonna start doing that. To wait till the chickens are on the roost. Yeah. And then put them in the house. To sleep. Yeah. Okay, this section I have got caged off for them. I got chicken wire off through here so they can't get in there and get stuck. So let's see if they'll come out if I open the door. Are y'all ever gonna get out? Are y'all just gonna be chickens? There you go. Yeah, my plan. Excuse me. You gonna trap me in here? Who? Oh. Yes. Maybe you can put the trash can behind. Not kill the chicken. Kill the cat. Cause these chickens are not curious enough to come out of this cage. They're scared. Here. Yeah, you take. I'll come over here. Uh oh, uh -oh. first place they went. Just try to get through that. Gobble up the slide, 
have fun this time too. What do you think, girls? There's a big tall one? Yeah. Now y'all, okay, now they figured out they can fly. Here we go. I doubt they'll try to fly up and get through this gate. Alright guys, I'm going to let them be chickens. And, uh, go over here. I'll show you the garden. I hadn't shown y'all that. Oh, let's check out the garden. The squash is flowering, Tammy. And we already got some peppers. There's a green pepper. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's a green pepper right there. There's a green pepper on that one. Yeah, down there at the bottom. That squash is flowering. Ah, the tomatoes are uh, been doing pretty good. Let's see. There's a fat tomato down there. I don't know if y'all can see it. This, these are cherry tomatoes. They've got little tomatoes all over them. The cherry tomatoes already. These, this one's got starting to get tomatoes at the top up here. That's good. It's got a few down there on the bottom, and then you got the fat tomatoes over here. Oh, that one's got a couple new ones coming out. So they're doing fine and dandy. And I put out some okra over here. No. Again tomorrow. Okay, this is day two, and this whole thing has been very traumatic because yesterday I left this gate leaned up here, and our big gold chicken decided she wanted to get in here or dig around the skate or something, and the gate fell on her and killed her. And she was our main chicken. She was the head one. And then this morning we got up and one of them had got their foot hung on like some kind of weird way in their roost in there where their sticks are where they roost. Had got her foot wedged in one of the places where she roost. And she was hanging upside down, but she's alive. It's one of these speckled ones. Look at her feet. And the it's one, got feathers on it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's completely different than the other chickens. And the one speckled one that already hops around on a bad leg. Now we got two speckled ones hopping around on a bad leg. <sighs> and we brought their little crate out this morning. And uh, we're just letting them jump out of there and in there as they want. And probably after about a few, we don't know. We'll just see how things are going. The main thing that we're concerned about is how the big chickens are going to treat them. Because the big chickens have tried to kill other chickens especially chickens that are sick and if they start pecking them we're afraid if they draw blood they'll kill them so we're gonna continue this at least for a few more days before we feel kind of comfortable but the, the seriously the lead chicken is is gone and so and the second to, and the the second to the lead is probably the one that twisted up her foot Yep. by some crazy so we are not very good chicken parents right now because the gate was my fault I didn't secure it like a dummy and lost a chicken for it so it's a good thing I got eight new chickens because we're down to what nine chickens left alive so but they're doing okay today but I know one thing, if there's something for them to get caught in, if there's somewhere for them to get in trouble, if there's some kind of way to get stuck in a hole, well, look at that one. Why do animals feel like they have to test the boundaries 
of every fence that you put out there. They're not wild animals. Well, I guess they are. I guess technically they're all wild animals. Aw, she's by herself. You want to get out of there, baby? Get out. You're the biggest one. No, she's one of the You're the littlest one. one. All right, I was going to put these in there. There she goes. You can get out of there. And quit acting like a baby. Ridiculous. Get out here and grow up. Follow each other. It is quite a few days later. About a week or so. Later. We've let the big chickens out. And Tammy just opened the cage up and we let these guys go. And we're trying to see where they're going to go. Where are they going to go? They have their little section back here. You want to go in and see them? Oh. Where'd you let them go at? Oh, they started hopping out in the house. So I oh, so ran you them one. out of the house in here. So she let them jump out in the house. And they came out of the house into the run. They pretty much stay together, together all the time. We've been keeping them in that section right back there. That's been working out. And at night, we've been putting them in the coop. Let's put this down and see if we can get through that one. I think they can reach that one. Which one? That one? one right there, yeah. Oh. They're not going to do that until they see no, some of these other chickens. But now they gotta have different food too because this ain't crumble. Yeah. You don't have to... In the um, coop at night in their box with the chicken wire over it. What is it? Huh? You wanna come see me? Do you? Yes? Talk to me, chickens. what they think is a mama right here that chicken has a hurt leg she's been trying to recover for many days so she's not too active she sits around a lot now this redhead's looking at him so now they think if they can get around her actually they're probably not even paying no attention to her they're just, <laughs> they're just they go from corner to corner they explore. They're looking for stuff to eat. They're looking for stuff to eat. Well, she didn't peck them. No. Nope. That's a good sign. Well, we've had them next to the chickens for what? Four or five days now? Yeah. I mean, the only thing separating them has been this little wall here and they've been in the house with them for about four or five days at least all right so we're gonna put some crumbling okay guys i think it's a maybe a couple of weeks from when i did that first video uh i fixed my nets out here for the garden and uh, i'm still waiting on my squash there's a nice big bell pepper Tomatoes are getting tall. Taller than me. It's over my head right there. That one is. A bunch of tomatoes growing. So, we got this all sorted out and fixed. And uh, the chickens. Ultimately, everything has worked out with the chickens. Go out here and give y'all a little view of what they look like today. Now that they have adjusted to life in the big pen. Mm-hmm. Life in the big pen. They still like to go over there in that one side. That's their 
favorite spot but you can see they're all in here and they're getting big they're getting big girls getting big and getting along y'all it's not time to get to go to bed yet sorry not time to go to bed yet so we got them all acclimated to life in the big city out here and uh hopefully they'll be laying us some eggs here after a while all i have uh done in here i'll show you all this be the last thing i show you is their little tub that they're used to being in we put their little tub in here i put them a little roosting thing right there and every night when they get in here they uh, get in their tub so operation i only had one casualty <laughs> that was with the big chick <laughs> operation chick it's been a success. Thanks for watching, guys.